Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Got a box, says Tickris on it, and inside we have the brand new Tickris Max S. S for small. It's a rectangular watch that's a bit smaller than its uh, big brother, which we've already reviewed uh, quite a bit here and, and, and talked in detail about it. So a lot of the things that apply to that watch will apply. Whoa! We'll apply to this one. Look at that. We have a side camera on this one. Interesting. There's obviously buried in here, I think right there, a front-facing camera. That's typical on these rectangular ones, so you can do your video chatting and, and blogging and all that kind of stuff. But a side camera, that's nifty. What are we looking at? Again, the Tikris Max S. So it's a 2.4-inch uh diameter smartwatch coming to us from Banggood. Thank you again, Banggood, sending out the best of the best for us. I'm not sure about that price because we're in the middle of flash time, you know, before Christmas, after Thanksgiving. Uh, so prices are jumping all over the place. But do check the show notes and we will try to get you the best price we can with a coupon if it's no longer at the discounted flash prices. Inside this one, it's a typical Android smartwatch. Now, we're not talking Android 10 yet. This is still part of the Android 7.1.1 uh, plan, and but it does have a full 3 gigabytes of RAM in it, 32 gigabytes of storage, runs 4G for communications, GPS, all the standard stuff that we've seen, all the different supported languages you see here. It tethers to the Watch 2 app like all of the other Android watches do. So really nothing new to talk about technology-wise or software-wise, except taking a look at this really sweet form factor. Inside the box, there's nothing else down here. It's just foam. But in the accessories, when we pop into here... We should have a way to charge this thing. Yep, yep. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got a screwdriver. Why do we need a screwdriver? Because remember, these watches are standalone phones. So you need it to take the screws off of the SIM compartment in here that is uh, where you put your nano SIM in to make uh, phone calls, receive phone calls to a separate phone number to the watch. No, I know a lot of you are asking, can I tether this to my phone and make phone calls with Bluetooth calling? Unfortunately, no. None of these Android watches will do that. Not the Android 10, not the Android 7. You got to reach back to like 2017, 18 to get the uh, really early ones that had that support, but not actually in these. So you will put your own SIM card in there. And because it's sealed so nicely, this thing is not going to declare it waterproof, but I'm going to say it's probably pretty darn sweat resistant. There's not much of an area where water could come into it. Um, we've got a bag that's also got a charging dock. So let's pull this one out and take a look. Uh -huh. So we have uh, four pins here. Wow, that's on what looks like it should be the other side, doesn't it? Okay, we line it up and it magnetically couples. This will plug into your USB port. I'm not a big fan on docks. You've heard me talk about that, especially ones that are connected like this. So after time, if you kicked it and tripped it or something and it broke, uh, you got to get a new dock. So you may want to see if you can order an extra one of these at work or as a backup uh, just to play safe. I don't know if you can or not, but it comes with one. And we'll charge it up and turn it on for you. Oh, we got a few more things back here. Look at this. There's a whole array of stuff. I don't know what all that is. Usually you got a diode and your your sensor for doing heart rate. But wow, there's a bunch of circles that are holographic. <laughs> and then the, the middle looks like the sensor. I think we got everything, but always check the camera lens too to see. Yeah, there's nothing there. See if there's plastic over, over that. Ooh, this looks like fun. All right. Okay, a little tricky to figure out which side's which. I'm betting the camera's on the right. The buttons are going to be on the left. So we're going to press the bottom button. It's got a little red stripe on it. And see what happens. Sure enough, wow, that is one bright screen. 
the Ticris. I love it. The Max S. So how does the Max S compare with the Max? Funny you should ask. I happen to have it right here. Here's the Max. Look at how much bigger that one is. Yeah. It's got its own charging dock too. And I know a question you're going to have is, will the dock charge the little one? No. There's the pins but it's a complete different design. So you won't be able to charge your Max S with the Max uh, charger. It's unique and vice versa, I'm sure. Just to make sure, here we go. There's the one from the Max S. No, it's not gonna line up. Mm, almost looks like it would, but I wouldn't trust putting the pins uh, together like that. There, brighten it all up. This is one of Mr. Tix's special watch faces designed by Alrod, which I talk about in pretty much all of the Android videos. You can check out his work, his custom faces. Uh, real easy. There's a link in the show notes to get over there. This is straight out of the box. So we're going to play with it and see what we've got. First of all, it wants you to confirm your language. I'm going to go with English. We're in the USA, so I'm going to go Imperial. That gives me all my stuff in uh, height and weight and everything like that in uh, English. And so I'm going to confirm uh, the data there. I'll set it later. And then you get in, of course, to the setup. This is the QR code you would scan to download the YWatch 2 app. Check the show notes. I got a link that'll take you right to the Play Store to get a hold of uh, that app. And also there's a review of the app in depth. So we're not going to do much with the app at all today. Probably nothing. Uh, you can look at that for that information. So improve your location accuracy. Google may collect information. It's giving you this new kind of a notice now. You can agree to that. And it's going to do all sorts of stuff to access. And we say yes. And now we get into our first really fun remember the old windows phone uh, type of a watch face google play protect is on it's going to want to go through doing some stuff it's going to try to load up the play store but we're not on the internet but it looks locally and it says everything's looking good it scanned the apps that are installed just a safety thing yeah, I know we shouldn't have to go through all of this stuff, but it's good for you to see what you can expect when you first turn any of these newer watches on, Android 7, Android 10. You could sign in now, but of course you can't until you're on the internet, so we're not going to sign in now. But what we are going to do is show you um, what we've got here. We've got phones, and um, uh, this is like a the, the Google Assistant um and it says I'm offline and so forth. So we'll play with this once we're all set up online. But heart rate, time, all that stuff. And you press and hold, you can switch to a variety of different types of watch faces, each with active buttons in them that come stock with the watch. Finally, whoops, sorry, Google, yes. Uh, finally, we have arrived. We have arrived at a world where they are starting to create really cool watch faces that are functional as well. You can see that we've got a whole bunch more. And then you got some stock ones that come back all the way to the animated background on them. Great, great stuff. We'll look toward the end at more of the um, of the watch faces. When you pull down, you get basically your power information. This is the updated, upgraded Android 7.1 uh, layout on these watches. Come over here. You can turn on your quiet mode so it won't make noise. You can set your brightness level. There's full bright. There's full dim. And you can do everything in between. We'll run it I think just on the first tab is bright enough for us indoors here. Um, this is for twist your wrist to see the time. Airplane mode, cellular connectivity with your SIM in there. Some of you may want to make phone calls but not have a data plan or not eat into a data plan. So that will be a toggle for that. It's timing out really quickly. We've got Bluetooth. we got Wi-Fi. I need to turn on and get my uh, router information in here and sign in so that we can look further. And then, of course, this is the toggle for GPS. Over here, you got a little cleanup thing. One more, you got a music player for uh, your installed music. And once you're on the internet and it's got your location, you can get your weather uh, report right there as well. And all that is happening from scrolling down from the watch face. Over to the right, you get your notifications, the page to the left, 
scrolling up, you get your step count average per day over a week, your actual steps for the day, distance traveled in miles, you noticed, calories burned, and all of that's that way. And then when you come over here, you get all the different chiclets for all of the installed apps, which are your basic stuff. Contacts, phone, messaging for when you've got your SIM card in, overall settings, your music player, downloads. Uh, I'm going to go into settings for just a minute and fix this little problem. Um, sound is basically your sounds and display is where we can go into sleep and change it from 15 seconds all the way up to 30 minutes. Your notification bright screen will light the watch up, of course, when you um, get notifications if you want that. We do have a different bubble app style to show you that. Now we come over here and you're in the Apple kind of a look uh, and feel for all of the apps. We don't have a whole lot in here right now. I don't have a zooming way to make them bigger or smaller. They're one size, uh, but that's available to you. And of course, we can go back to the matrix style, which is a lot easier to show you guys what's in here. You got a stock browser. I would recommend upgrade to, I don't know, Chrome or one of the other ones. Um, this is the camera. We'll look at that in a gallery for pictures, clock, a sound recorder is built into it. Your basic folders, fitness. We usually talk about fitness and whether it integrates with GPS. We'll play with that. Weather, uh, of course, a lot of this, all the rest you have to be on the internet for. Uh, and that's it. Just two pages worth of stuff. Assistant is actually the assistant where you connect to the phone with the QR code that's unique for this watch. Once you have your Y Watch 2 app going, again, watch the review of the app. You'll learn how to do all this stuff and make sure you're set up. And at that point, you can use this as a remote button to take pictures with your phone, control your music on your phone from your watch, different than the music controller we saw earlier that controls the music in the watch. And you got 32 gigabytes of space you can put that. You can send files back and forth to your phone and of course find your phone when you're tethered over there as well. Okay, we're on the internet and uh, I've come up to the weather again. It's updated in my location so I know all of that's working. And you see your uh, temperature information in both centigrade and Fahrenheit, which is a really nice addition to this whole thing. So we uh, want to take a quick look at things like the camera and whatnot since we've got two of them on this one. Let's come over here and turn this puppy on. And there we go. I've got the side camera over here and I can tap here and reverse it and you should see me hello there we go there and the screen is nice and bright too so it's giving you a nice uh nice visual almost too much detail <laughs> so i'm going to put it back on the side i'm going to take a moment and take a picture by pressing that side button there okay and now we're running a little video clip and you see it got a little bit further. So it's kind of stabilized when I move it, which is really nice too. It also flipped things upside down. I have the pause button right there and that put it in pause and you're seeing the elapsed time on the video. And then I can tap this and stop it. All righty. And now we can give a quick look at that. Let's come back into the video, see if we can hear it. Okay, yeah, could hear fairly well uh, from where I'm at. Of course, I'm so much louder than anything I wear, so I'm probably drowning it out. But it's really hard to compare on a video. Uh, here's a little bit fuzzy because I was moving, but there's the image. If I double tap on it, you see I can zoom in nicely. Double tap again, comes back out. A little sluggish there, it looks like interesting. Uh, I do have pinch and zoom capability, which is another thing we all ask about. Sorry about the resolution. I was moving. It's not that the camera is not stable right there. Um, and then, of course, we got the front camera on it uh, as well uh, right here. So this is a new addition to have the side camera. And how does it look on? I know I haven't even put it on and we're all this time into the video. 
But since we are talking about the camera location, which is one of those challenging places for these uh, watches when they put it on the side, because there is it. Oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. Now, again, the buttons are on the back side of it. The camera is going to be right here for doing your selfies. And on this side, you've got the speaker and the, uh, the front or the landscape kind of a camera over here. So I want to come back out of here come back over into my camera and just show you what happens with my hand. Now, I don't really have much over here. Let's put our information up. But see, here's here's my hand. You see how um, I have to be careful to keep my hand down if I'm going to be using the side camera. Really, really cool when they put the camera up here. There's not many watches that have it up there, but uh, it's it's... Just something you're going to have to get used to having it off on the side. So it's not all that thick compared to other ones that we've seen. Where's the Big Max? Here's the Big Max. Um, just to give you kind of a comparison with these. We take this off. And the buttons are on the right-hand side on this one. There we go. There's Papa Bear. There's Mama Bear. You want to see Baby Bear now? Okay, here is Baby Bear. This is the original Lympho LEM4 uh, Pro right here. And uh, yeah, it's on even. And, and there's Baby Bear. Um, really sweet. This is a bit smaller overall watch than this one running a much earlier version of Android, and no longer available at all. But size-wise, um, it was a sweet watch. I really, really enjoyed that one. This one is filling a nice middle ground um, in terms of size that is usable but not looking aggressively huge uh, like this one. So for those of you who, who like the Max, who like having edge-to-edge -edge, uh, screen technology for all of your um, uh, apps that you can see them, well, this isn't filling the full width. Another one of uh, Alrod's uh, faces. Uh, let's see if we can get a broader one. There you go. It has a little bit of barrier on the side. So did this one. There's the front-facing camera on it. This one's over on the right. And of course, this one uh, is also on the right-hand side. Flip you to a different face that shows a little bit more background. There we go. Uh, and so, yeah, you have borders on the edge on all of them, but not too bad. But in terms of overall size, this is fitting uh, nicely in that middle. As somebody that has an average size adult arm, it should be easy to wear and look really, really good. Okay, I think we've covered all I want to do in this basic unboxing stuff. Uh, we could go through all the system stuff and everything like we do over and over again, but if you're interested in that, just check out any of the other reviews, even uh, the Max, because this one is also Android 7. All of these uh, are, are not yet Android 10. What you can do, though, is go over to Banggood, check the link in the show notes. You'll get to the page that has all of the specs, all of the description, and more details on it. What we're trying to do here is basically show it to you live and how it works and what it looks like. All in all, it's a really nice watch. Uh, it sounds good. It looks good. The bands are not removable, just like on the uh, the regular Max, and same thing on this one. It's not removable either. Um, uh, it's not waterproof. None of these are, are fully waterproof. There are ways water can get in, but it looks fairly well sealed. See, I'm sweating a little already on the back, um, which is great. Uh, same kind of design as the back of uh, of the regular Max. Uh, it's the Max S for smaller. Okay, gang, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.